What's up, Pisces? This is Soul. Pisces, I'm going to do a weekly reading for you uh, beginning January 24th and ending uh, January 30th, 2020. This reading is for Pisces Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign individuals, male or female, um, singles, couples, uh, same sex. It doesn't really matter. Okay, so I grabbed the Marchetti deck, tarot deck, just to do your reading. Drawn only five cards. I'm not sure. Just did Aquarius and Capricorn's reading. No cards showed up in the reverse, but if they are any reversals, I'll just read them in the reverse, okay? Because I didn't really go through the deck prior to uh, doing uh, the recording for you, all right? So here we go. Let's begin your reading here for the week. And like I said, I'm only drawing five cards. I'm not even going to do a shadow. I really want to keep these readings simple and to the point. So we're going to uh, start off with the devil, Major Arcana, the devil. And I do apologize if there's a heavy glare uh, on these cards and you can't really make out. Uh, so what I do talk about them. So we'll start off with you for um, the week, energies related to the devil. So there's some sort of addiction stuff going on. And, you know, I'm going to try to cover all areas and aspects of your life, including relationships and, you know, whatever else that comes up. So the devil is just a significant uh, reminder for my Pisces to make sure that you are, you know, uh, having those talks about those habits that you may have uh, that are bad that you know you need to get rid of and it's creating some sort of problems. It's, you know, may have been, um, you know, something that uh, led to an addiction. So we're talking about drinking, smoking, gambling. It could be sex. It could be ruminating thoughts. Those thoughts that, you know, come to you that you can't seem to get out of your mind. It's always like, uh, as an example, a gerbil spinning on a wheel uh, just goes round and round and round and round. You push it out, it comes right back. So it could be that you're feeling bound or restricted to a situation, person, or event. It could be that you're working too much. That's the devil's energy. The devil creates an illusion, uh, making you believe that, you know, what you're dealing with is real when it actually it's not. So I always say when the devil shows up here and the seven of cups, always, you know, deal with situations and people the way that you need to. Uh, deal with them responsibly, not how you want them to be or have any greater expectations beyond that, because that's when we, you know, set ourselves up for, uh, you know, being hurt and then failure. OK, so the devil represents Capricorn, um, Taurus and Virgo energies here. So figure out what it is that it could be the other person that you're dealing with, someone else in your life, family member, could be a romantic partner who uh, it could be a friend, co-worker who's dealing with some sort of addiction, but the reason why it shows up here for you, uh, Pisces, is because it affects you or it is affecting you uh, in some type of way. All right, so figure out what that is and what you need to address uh, if it is on a personal level uh, and what you need to work on to um, release yourself from the devil's grip. All right, following the devil, Major Arcana, we have the uh, King of Wands. It could be um, the King of Wands. There's some sort of addiction uh, going on with a fire sign, possibly, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, because it's the next card over. And I'm only drawing five cards here, like I said, to keep the reading very, very simple. He's facing in the direction of the devil, so maybe there's some sort of addictive pattern or behavior related to a Pisces, and it's attached to a fire sign, or there's something going on with a fire sign that a Pisces know that is dealing with some sort of addiction, okay? Whatever that could be, whatever that could be. I, like I said before, it could be, you know, some of you are working too much. You can't pull yourself away from your work. You're addicted to your work. You know, that work sort of like um, hones you out from everything else. But there's more to just working. Don't forget to enjoy your life um, and other pleasurable uh, activities. All right. So the king, uh, knight of wands is here, knight in shining armor. It could also represent how fast a... You know, situation may start up for some of you. If it is a relationship, that could be indicative of a new relationship. It could be that, you know, someone comes to, you know, comes along to help you out in a time of need. Uh, it's just, a re you know, the uh, energy of that night coming in very, very rapidly. Uh, but when it comes in rapidly and it's romantically linked, it's just the rapidness of how the energy may, uh, you know, show up or turn out. But it doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, as soon as they come in, they leave. No, it's not that. Um, so don't even think that. No, I just think that, you know, there could be some offering some sort of assistance uh, to you. Brother, sister, uh, mother, father, 
uh, and they're coming around to help you. All right. So after the King of Wands or Knight of Wands, I'm sorry, Knight of Wands here, uh, Pisces, we have uh, the Magician. Okay. So the Magician's here, another major arcana. So you have two major arcanas here, and it's only a five card draw. So the Magician is about manifestation. Now I know when I did the, uh, I just posted the. January, tail end of January's general love reading, I didn't really get into the uh, negative aspects of the magician. So I'm not really going to try to do that uh, this time around. Just note that the magician is, I read it as another person. So it could be someone who is uh, in your life that's, you know, has false energy. They put it on a mask. Um, and it's usually, you know, putting on that false energy and pretense. Um, like I said before, it mirrors the devil, creates an illusion. Having to deal with people the way they need to be uh, dealt with and not the way that you want or the, any, uh, you know, specific outcome. So that could be the magician. And, you know, he even looks uh, sinister here. So just be careful. But the most positive thing that I want to deliver to you, Pisces, is that this is a card full of manifestations. Whatever it is that you are... Uh, desiring or whatever it is that you have set goals for or laid, you know, could be, you know, part of New Year's resolution. Well, things are going to start to manifest for you in that respect. All right. So what is it that you want or whatever it is that you wish for, you want, you can have through the magician's energy. All right. So last card, well, second to the last card is the world card. See, there's the world card. This is definitely a Major Arcana and is full of possibilities. Uh, expected or yeah, expected or unexpected possibilities. You have the world at your feet. Anything is possible this upcoming week. New opportunities I see coming in for uh, Pisces. It could be um, new opportunities with job. It could be relationships. It could be something going on with you know the family that's positive. Um, yeah, so this is positive energy. Definitely relationships, because the world card all we see is a relationship card, like the sun and, you know, the lovers, of course. But the world, you may be um, offered some type of opportunity and it's very, very, it's going to be very, very positive for you. So I hope that's the case. And like I said, these are just general readings. It's not going to touch base and uh, affect everyone. You have the Manifestation card, you have the World card, and the Devil. Three major arcanas. Up next is, oh, well, complete your uh, five-card reading here for the week is the Star card. Okay, hopes, wishes, and dreams uh, becoming fulfilled and manifested. Okay, this is the social media card for me. So, you know, you might find yourself um, increasing your energy when it comes to um, social media, whatever your f uh, favorite social media is Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, you name it, Twitter, whatever. Uh, I do feel that there's a lot of communication going on here um, with some Pisces through those means. Now, of course, the star card could represent you could meet somebody famous, uh, of course, you know. And then also, too, because it's a card of, um, you know, possessing psychic abilities or psychic powers, some of you know you have that intuition. So it could be that your uh, abilities are increasing or are about to increase. Um, whatever you're wishing for, hoping for, praying for, this could be the week that it shows up. Now, it mirrors the uh, devil card in this uh, sense here. So it could be that, you know, if there is anyone or you possessing any types of addictions or having to or wanting to deal with any types of addictions, then the star card here is breaking the chain uh, of that addiction for you. Also because of the world card, which is full of possibility. So you have four major canas, four major arcana showing up here. And guess what? One court card. Wow. Okay. So this is your reading. Star card represents Aquarius. I could have uh, some, you know, Pisces dealing with Aquarius individuals. It could be romantic. It could be... Um, it could be, you know, family members. It could be friends. If it is romantic, I just want to say for Pisces, though, you need to open up. Okay. You have to open up to allow Aquarius. Now, they could be uh, a little bizarre in their approach in terms of, you know, letting people know, you know, their feelings and whatnot. But that's just unique to them. 
But I feel that if there's a stalemate on either end, then nothing ever gets accomplished. So I'm not saying make yourself vulnerable. I'm just saying you have to allow yourself to open up a little bit, trust in your own intuition and your emotions that, you know, if you're dealing with a situation like that and it's romantic, then, you know, just believe in yourself to know that, you know, you're doing the right thing. And always pay attention to your instincts. This is what I have for you for this week, um, Paisi. So I hope it's beneficial and helpful. If not, don't worry about it. And I will talk to you next week. Take care. Bye.